Hi Rachel, it's Abby, also known as Abby Road Home on Instagram and TikTok, and welcome to my Fixer Upper Home. A couple years ago, my husband and I bought this Fixer Upper for our big family. We have five kids, so I'm all about stretching that DIY budget, that renovation budget, as far as I can possibly take it, which usually means learning how to do the projects on my own through lots of trial and error and tons of YouTube tutorials. And hopefully I can inspire you to try some DIY too. All right, let's go. This is one of my favorite DIY projects ever because it's so easy and fun to do. So I started out with a 15 year old black stained dresser and I really wanted to give it a new look. The fluted trend that you see on the front here is super popular. I bought 60 packs of dowel rods, glued them to the front of this. And then for the rest of the dresser, I did sand and refinish it to match the same wood tone, pop down some new hardware, and the dresser I really, really wanted was over $2,000. I was able to create the same look for under $100. For my boys' bedroom, I knew that I really wanted to build them a climbing wall. They have so much energy and also super affordable coming in at under $150. What you'll need for this project are two by fours to build your frame attached to the studs that are behind the drywall itself. For the surface of the climbing wall, I used a four by eight sheet of birch plywood. Then I ordered a rock climbing kit from online, preferably one with a rope. I painted the rock wall kit gray. It's much more fun to hang onto the rope and climb up the wall and also be able to like swing down off of it. That's also very, very fun. So this next project here in my hallway is very renter friendly and especially great if you're new to DIY. I added box trim molding throughout my hallway here. It was super affordable and it doesn't require a lot of power tools. You could use a hammer and nails. I just love my nail gun. They're really affordable. Fill in all those holes and then touch up the paint on your walls and there you have it. I actually made my own cement floor tiles. I know it's insane, but the price tag on the tiles I actually wanted was even crazier, coming in at $5,000, which blew my mind. About $300 to make my own floor tiles for this space. I absolutely love them. I had six forms made for this, and it took me about four weeks to make all of my tiles. Be sure to seal them. I sealed my tiles with three layers of sealant, and they look amazing. They have held up beautifully over the last months. Thank you, Rachel, for having me. Bye.